Xmark designed its stand-on spreader sprayer to be easy to calibrate and maintain. Today, Xmark product manager Lloyd Von Schulia and service manager Tom Person demonstrate the calibration procedure for the spreader and spray systems step by step. Lloyd Von Schulia with Xmark Manufacturing. Today talking about calibration of your Xmark spreader sprayer. Uh, it's the thing we get the most questions about and it's one of the most important things you can do on the machine. To properly calibrate the spray system of your Xmark spreader sprayer, you need three things. You need to know your speed, you need to know your width of spray, and you need to know the gallons per minute flow rate from the nozzles. With your speed, your width, and your flow rate of the nozzles, you'll be able to properly calibrate the machine. We can get you close with the basics of the machine. It's going to spray approximately 108 inches practical spray width. It's going to be approximately 5.3 miles per hour and the flow rate of the nozzles is going to depend on the nozzles you have in. This machine comes standard with uh, the white true jet flood jet nozzles. If you want to reduce your flow rate to do closer to a quart per thousand, you might want to use the browns. If you want to go up to a half gallon per thousand, you might want to use the blues. So we'll walk through the math on how to calculate that. The first variable you need in calculating your application rate is your speed. What is the actual speed of the machine? You can get this a number of ways from a GPS to a smartphone app, but if you want to get a precise measurement of speed, you have to use some measurements and math. First thing you want to do is measure out an area, say 150 feet. You want to do three passes within that area at full speed, measuring your uh, time for each pass. Take an average of that, take 150 feet times 60 seconds, divide that product by your average speed of the three passes times 88, which is a constant. Do that calculation and you have your average speed. Spray width is easy to calculate. Uh, best to take the machine onto a flat concrete surface, fill the tank with water, and spray and measure. Uh, this machine can spray up to 11 feet but when you put it on turf, depending on how high the grass is cut, you really have a practical application width of closer to nine feet. To calculate your flow rate of the nozzles, you simply need to take a graduated collection device, take a 15 second collection from each nozzle independently, take the sum of that, divide it by 128, and that gives you your gallons of application. You take that number, Multiply it times 60 for 60 seconds. Divide it by the number of seconds that you collected on each nozzle, 15 seconds. And you uh, take that product and that gives you your gallons per minute. Now that you have your speed, your application width, and your flow rate from each nozzle, you have to do a little more math. You take the flow rate from each nozzle, sum together, times 544, that, will, that is a constant. You take that product, you divide it by your speed in miles per hour times your application width in inches. So for example, 108 inches application width. You take that and that'll give you your quarts per thousand application rate. I'm gonna quickly walk you through calibration of the dry spread. So based on ground speed, spreader speed and granular size, that information is used in your operator's manual to help determine a gate opening. There's two simple controls that control the dry spread system. One is an on-off switch and the other is a speed control knob that determines the speed of the impeller and the spread width. Based on the information from the operator's manual from the calibration procedure, we can adjust the opening by turning the white knob to the value given. Keeping your machine properly calibrated will help you know exactly how much you're putting down and avoid costly mistakes and keep your customers happy.